Zapping all you hoes away like get back, get back. CAP, zapping all you hoes away like get back, get back. CAP, zapping all you hoes away like get back, get back. CAP, zapping all you hoes away like get back, get back. Get back, get back. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Get back, get back. Get back, get back. CAP, zapping all you hoes away like CAP, zapping all you hoes away like. The, the last one that I got eliminated on, I remember Tatiana was like, hey, you're safe. I saw them looking at your pictures and there was a gorgeous one of you spread out like on the hood. You're good. And then they, they picked one that I look like I'm squatting. Like. Everybody go. Everybody go. No, I'm gonna start talking to the people. What's come on? Come on in the classroom, bitch. Hurry up. Ring a ling a ling, school bella. Ring a ling a ling, school bella. Ring a ring a ling. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing today? You know what? Hurry up, come into the classroom. I'ma talk. I'ma talk. First of all, I want to give a special birthday shout out. Hold on. I want to give a special birthday shout out to a dedicated, supportive fan of the ANTM to exclusives. Let me go find it. I want to make sure I get the baby's name right. While y'all come on in the classroom, it's five o'clock. I'm early. I started class early. Okay, here we go. No, this is not right. to give a special birthday shout out to Francis. Francis just celebrated his birthday on the 12th. And I want to say thank you so much for supporting me over here on these little videos that we do. I hope you enjoyed your birthday. I freaking love you. If I was in the UK with you, Francis, I will be squeezing your neck and dancing on a bar table, screaming, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear friends. Yes. Dear friends. Oh, what come next? Happy birthday to <laughs> to you. Happy birthday, Francis. All right, y'all. I just did that so y'all can come on in the classroom. Yes. Okay. Let me do this too. And Tim. No. And Tim. Good. With UV. They hollering. <laughs> they, <laughs> they hollering. <laughs> Get a basket for QA. Okay, but I think I got all y'all questions. Like, I got all y'all questions. So, y'all may not need to buy any badges today. Okay. All right, everybody. What's going on? My name is Oliver Twix, your nerd boy cutie reporting for duty here to do the Lord's work once again! I'm still happy today. <laughs> Y'all should see Cookie's face, remember Cookie? <laughs> Say that to the people, Cooks. <laughs> she was like, girl, what is that? Is that my mother calling me? All right, y'all, I am, okay, no, go. Go to your bed, we're not gonna do this. Bye, you got too excited. 
talking to you, V from Soccer 4 of America's Next Top Model. This is going to be a great chat because she is also an iconic girl on America's Next Top Model. Of course, we know for not the right reasons, but we're going to get to the bottom of it today. We're going to get to the bottom of it today, guys. Is she here? Yuvi, are you in the room? She is in the room. Okay, I'm going to... I'm sending an invite to her right now. Where's my phone? I am. We're I matching. Am. Ah. I vibed. I knew it. I just sensed it. <laughs> Yuvi, you are so freaking gorgeous. Oh, thanks. <laughs> no, can, oh, can I yeah. see my fingers? Oh, sure. I mean, don't look at the nail part because I did not have time to paint my nose. But <laughs> no, I love. I, I. This is beautiful. Oh, thank you. No, you're so thank welcome. You. So listen, I can't yes. help but to get an immediate flashback to the craft. By the way, you're looking, and this is perfect because we have a thing over here. When the Wi-Fi and the connection start messing up, we say, uh -huh. "Tyra, we bind you. We bind you from doing <laughs> harm, harm to others, and harm to our Wi-Fi." Tyra, oh we, my bind goodness. You. we bind you from doing harm, harm to others, harm to our Wi-Fi. Well, I cleansed my space before we started, so I've been burning. Um, do you pronounce it camphor? Um, what is that? I don't know C if I've ever burned that. C A M P H O R. They okay. say they use it in like rituals and stuff like that when they really want to cleanse the place. You know, it's okay. like one like thing. Like deep to get... cleaning. Yes, it's like <laughs> sage cleaning. is like sage is like hand sanitizer. Camper right. is like bleach. Yeah, no, I I've never even uh, uh, cleansed with that. So I use um, I use a lot of um, rosemary, lavender. Mm. Um, Sweetgrass, so mm -hmm. yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for agreeing to do this with me. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, super excited. Like you're so welcome. Have you seen any of our previous episodes, especially the Cycle Four ones? I did. So I logged on with Brittany, right? I think mm -hmm. yeah, it was Brittany. And then I just was watching uh, Michelle's one, and it and and I was like, okay, let me just kind of scan it, and I literally scanned it to the minute that she was talking about me on there. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I was like, because I was a little nervous to do this. So I was like, that was definitely a spirit thing mm -hmm. to be like, it's okay. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, she spoke so kindly of me. And I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> yes, yes. I yeah. also did a chat with Kenya and Naima. Oh, dang it. I missed those. I'll have to watch them. Yes, yes. Guys, if you're watching right now, you can go binge watch some of our old a and Team exclusive yes. on the Albert YouTube channel. We've done close to 70 now oh goodness yes yeah, so just press play go wash clothes yeah you know go do all those things just listen to the tea unfold i have four kids so the laundry is never ending you be you so. have four children yeah we're a blended family so um i have two with my ex and then my partner has one with his ex and like three wasn't enough we decided to throw one together in there so Congratulations. Yeah. It's, it's a circus. I had to bribe them right now. I was like, because all four are here. Uh, so I was like, you guys, I bought ice cream. Just sit and be quiet, please. Mm -hmm. Please, please. <laughs> yeah. No, this is please. great. This is so great. I just, I can't get over how beautiful you freaking look. Oh, it's, it's just makeup and the ring light, I tell you. <laughs> no, no. Give yourself some credit. You are stunning. Oh, thanks, love. Okay, listen, so... I just want to go ahead and jump right into it. Let's do it. I yes. pulled these questions from the comment section of Instagram. I only post that I find on Instagram. Um, but I pulled it from there. Okay. And mm. if you don't like the questions, be mad at these bitches who are watching. <laughs> with me. Oh, my God. Are you okay. ready? Yes. I think maybe. Okay. okay. Well, let's yeah. just go. We'll find okay, out later. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Christelle wants to know. During the first episode of Soccer 4, UV said she was part of a gang. Oh, here we go. What was her experience <laughs> like going from being in a gang to wanting to pursue modeling? So, at least, so a bit of that was editing um, because I said that the way where, where I grew up, it was just kind of our culture. You claimed a color, you were in a gang, and that's just kind of what you did mm -hmm. um you know i grew up in san francisco 
and then we moved to Concord, California. Um, so it was just kind of like upbringing, you mm -hmm. know, we I had cousins that claimed colors and, you know, I got in way too many fights, which it makes no sense <laughs> because I like to say that I've lived many lives within uh -huh. my 37 years of life. I can't believe I'm 37, mind you. Um, but that was just a like a completely different life. Like mm -hmm. I can't even imagine, I'm a pacifist now. I can't even imagine fighting someone. I mean, maybe I can in my head. <laughs> but I wouldn't physically, wouldn't physically do it anymore. But uh -huh. yeah, I got suspended. I think the very first time I got suspended was uh, the fifth grade for fighting. And then in the eighth grade, and then in the seventh grade, no, not seventh grade, fifth grade twice. Yeah. So it's not even who I am. <laughs> like, it doesn't make sense anymore that I was even like that. But yeah, catch me on a bad day. It it, it shines a little bit. It comes out a little bit. But yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine you trying to fly right I, now. And I don't. And I don't. Like, I literally, if there's a bug in the house, even ants, I try to guide them outside. Again, <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. Spiders, we're, we're a catch and release kind of family. We don't eat meat. Yeah, so completely, completely changed. So, like, if we were to get one of the four children in here, we'd be like, describe mom's temper <laughs> in three words. What would they say? Oh, Lord, depending on which kid you ask. Uh -huh. uh, because they probably all have a completely different uh, view of me. Uh, you would probably ask my little one, and she would say happy singing all the time. You'd ask my 14-year-old very moody uh, son. He would be like, she makes us do laundry and chores and, you know. So I think it, it would vary. And then my stepdaughter, God knows what she would say. I don't <laughs> no, no, so but she was... She was very excited. I told her, uh, she just came back. Uh, we do week on, week off. She uh -huh. just came back today and she's like, what are you doing? Why do you look like this? Because usually I don't obviously look like this. She's uh -huh. like, are you going on a date? I was like, no. And I told her and she's like, I'm so excited. I was like, Yay! Well, we'll watch it. Yeah. What's her name? Mava. Mava, hi Mava. Mava. Oh, she will be are so you? excited. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. So I know it has nothing to do with top model, but I'm just so interest interested to know. I heard you say earlier, you can't believe you're 37. How is it being, because how, how old were you on top model? I had just, so we started shooting in August mm -hmm. um, and I had just turned 21 in July. So they, okay. they, they were separating us like underage, you know, under 21 mm -hmm. and above 21. And they put me in the under 21 and I was like, oh, hell no, no, uh -huh. no. I'm, I'm of age. I could go to a bar. I want to mm -hmm. go with the older kids. So right, right. The younger kids were going bowling. Mm -hmm. the younger kids. Ugh, like I'm so old. Uh -huh. <laughs> the under 21s were going bowling. And then we were all going to a bar. And I was like, oh, uh -uh. I'm not going bowling. I want to go mm -hmm. to the bar. So anyways, they switched me. <laughs> but I'm curious to know, like, how how is it, like, having that part of your life? I mean, you were a kid. 21 is young. Like, that's that's young. a baby. I how look at 21-year-olds, and I'm like, oh, no. What? Yes. So how <laughs> is it having that part of your life, like, immortalized? And now you're Ugh. being, like, of course, having so much more life experience. And now you have children of your own. And, like, you're watching them. Like, how is it being older, seeing that? Ugh. So my my point of view was a little different because I come from a very, very big family. I have mm -hmm. two older sisters that are 14 years older and 15 years older than me. Mm -hmm. And they have, uh, one has six kids, the other has five. So when I went on, I knew mm -hmm. like, I'm a Thea. Like I can't be going on here looking all types of like uh, being a bad example. Right, but right. I had that in my head. Like I am going to be impressing on my nieces and nephews, like, mm. like even the topless shoot, which before kids, I had like no boobs, like negative boobs. So like, I don't, I don't even feel like I was showing anything back then. Um, but even that was hard for me. But mm. Mr. J and Miss J were both like, if you don't do this, you're gonna get kicked off. And I knew from watching, I'm gonna forget her name, Shannon. Uh huh. You know, she didn't want to pose. So I was like, oh, it's literally you know, the makeover day. I can't right. go home now. I was like, I don't have boobs. It's fine. We're it's good. Fine. 
So <laughs> tell us what made you even audition for America's Next Top Model. <clears throat> so it was my favorite show. Uh, I was in college at the time, and uh, we lived out of. Um, we I lived in Newport, and we had uh, it was a girls' apartment, and then mm -hmm. uh, our friends, our guy friends, upstairs. And every week, I can't even remember the day that it aired back then on, I think it was UPN back then. Um, but everybody would go watch um, BOC. Do you remember that show? No. <laughs> You're like, crickets? No. Anyways, it was a show. It's okay. You weren't missing much. I was downstairs, <laughs> I was downstairs by myself watching uh -huh. the top model. Everybody else was in another apartment watching the OC. So it, I was like obsessed with it, obviously. Mm -hmm. I'd been modeling since I was 12. Um, so yeah, it just felt like I needed to be on there. I had to be on there. So I had missed all the auditions in LA or anywhere near me. Um, and then my sister that lived in Kansas was like, mm -hmm. hey, we're going to go on a cruise. Can you watch the kids with her for mm -hmm. me? So I went to Kansas to watch my six nieces and nephews. Mm -hmm. And on the last day that I was there, they had an audition for Top Model. So I was like, this is a God thing. So yeah. Yeah, that is yeah. so eerily cool. I know, I know. So, you know, I, 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 I remembered, I was like, okay, I have to stand out. Mm -hmm. I'm in Kansas at a mall. You know, I live in California. Um, there was a line like through the through the door. It was I bet. Yeah. So I bought new shoes because I didn't obviously bring stilettos or any kind of high heels to watch my six nieces and nephews. So I bought a yellow shirt, mm -hmm. a yellow leg like, tank, because mm -hmm. I'm like from California. Uh -huh. Yellow sun, okay. Uh -huh. Um and yeah, I auditioned and that was that. And then I got a second call back to Houston. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So of course, like fast forward, you know, you're going to casting week, which yeah. is being filmed. Yeah. How was it stepping off the plane, seeing the entire production at work? It was surreal, honestly. Like it, you know, you and and girls were kind of like coming, you know, from different um, airlines and stuff like that. It, it was just completely surreal. I was like. Is this real? This mm -hmm. is real. It's my favorite show. And yeah, it was completely and utterly surreal, for sure. Do you remember what you felt like when you walked into the judges panel and you saw the Jays and Tyra? I was shaking. I uh -huh. I joke, and it's funny because I was talking to my partner uh, earlier. Um, I, I was wearing my sister's dress. I don't know if you remember that uh -huh. part. Cause I was Tyra like, asked you. Uh, yes. And because I am, like, I still, I'm a jeans and t-shirt kind of girl. I'll throw mm -hmm. heels on every now and then. But I was like, you have to dress up. It's Tyra. It's the Jays. You can't just walk in with jeans. <laughs> I was like, they're going to give you the boot right off the bat. So, um, but yeah, it was, it was weird. She like saw it, right? That that was not my look. They're like, no. And then you I, came, you changed and you came back, but you looked so like cool. I know. And the shirt, and I still have the shirt. I should have pulled it out. It said, I'm so corny. Uh -huh. or something like that. Like, who wears that? I can't believe I was even wearing that. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> so, like, what was going on in your head, like watching her and talking to her? I would have been freaking out. I, oh, my leg. Like, when I get nervous, I shake mm -hmm. like a chihuahua, like a freaking chihuahua. Uh, so I was definitely shaking. I think every panel that I was on, I was shaking. Like my legs, uh -huh. my knees, trembling. Um, it, it always seemed surreal, but the thing is, is, is like when you finally meet your idol, mm -hmm. you know, and someone that you've idolized for so long, mm -hmm. um, and they don't kind of, uh, what am I trying to say? They don't really, like, I, and I, I've watched... I think it was Brittany. Like, as soon as the camera was, like, they stopped filming, like, she was gone. So it was it was a very surreal thing as well to, like, meet her and her not be what you thought she was going to be, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Mm. <laughs> well so. said. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure I got another heard. question. Yeah. What, what'd you say? Oh, no. I said I'm sure you've heard with all the interviews that you've done. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, guys, this isn't news to us, is it? Mm -mm. Um, Nelly Orozco, I hope I said that right. Want to know, Yubi, tell us about your iconic mom. Wasn't she, uh, oh. and I want to make sure I'm, I'm actually going to try to pronounce this, uh, mm -hmm. Ranquera? Oh, she's saying uh, mariachi. There we go. There we mm -hmm. go. Tell us about her. Yeah. So she actually was in the show business in Mexico, and that's where I was born. Mm -hmm. um, she, she did some acting, but mm -hmm. her niche was ranchera music, mariachi. Ranchera. Um, yeah, and mariachi, and like a whole, she would wear, you know, um, oh my gosh, my brain is like not working right now. Um, vestido de charro, which is like the big hat, you mm -hmm. know, the traditional when you think of, or, you know, mariachi is like a big mm -hmm. giant hat, you know, uh, thigh high boots, slits, like she's everything. And she's still, like, if, if there's any, like, if you go to a Mexican restaurant and there's mariachi, like, she won't even ask. She's just like, Mike, please. Uh-huh. <laughs> just like, yeah. Have so she's it. like an icon in that world. Yeah, yeah. And she, she did, you know, she left. My dad died in the earthquake in Mexico uh, oh, City no. in 85. So after that, we never went back. So, um... She did, you know, local stuff here, and she actually uh, recorded an album, a Christian album of uh, mariachi music. So nice. Yeah. Tell the kids how they can find her music and videos. Oh, uh, gosh, I was like, "Where's my phone?" Hello, I'm on it. Um, so it's on you, <laughs> it's on YouTube. Um, it's Blanca Peña Gomez. So I believe you just, um, you just search that. I'll put it in the comments later on YouTube to to make sure I have the right one. Okay, dope. Yeah. That is so dope. Thank you for that. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. So right. as told by Angelo was asking, what was your initial reaction getting to the top model house when those professionals in the industries were set up by production to make you girls think you were being ambushed by a motorcycle gang? Do you remember that? I remember <laughs> I was that, like, that top model was so much fun. I was like, stop it. I was like, what is happening right now? Well, we, we were in the art district, so it is kind of a rougher, you know, area, um, or at least it's known in LA to be a uh, mm -hmm. rougher area, but I was like, these are actors. I was like, what's happening here? Um, but I, I, I think it was still so, like, early on I, I, at least for myself, I felt like it was still like a mo modeling show. And I, as, you know, each day progressed, I was like, no, this is a TV show. Like, this is a straight ding, 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 ding. TV show, <laughs> you know? Um, but at least for me, like, I was very naive going in. I mm -hmm. thought it was going to be a straight modeling competition. And it just wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. What? It was a TV show. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, yeah, because, yeah, it wasn't. Like, especially coming home and watching it all over again. So one thing, I know nobody asked this, but I'm going to tell it. Um, I won the very first challenge. Uh, it was a pose-off at the house. Tyra came, and uh, I'm not going to remember the uh, designer that it was, but it was all, like, very... Um, kind of slinky, remember the early 2000s, like, look, very, like, it was silk and kind of slinky. Yeah, 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 dresses. yeah, yeah. Okay, so it was a pose-off, and I won. Uh-huh. I won. Nowhere in the whole series was that in there. Nice. And, you know, it probably didn't fit into what they wanted me to look like on the show. You know, I couldn't just be the girl that had all the potential and didn't know it, and then win the first uh, uh, challenge. <laughs> so I still got all the clothes, though. So I you do. Have, yeah, I got I got the clothes that I won. Like I I had to choose, which was horrible for me because I'm again not that I had to pick the clothes off the girls that I wanted, which was so awkward. <laughs> like, I'm like, take that, I'll take that. Like, uh -huh. Yeah, it felt very, um, 
evil stepsister Sor uh -huh. uh, Cinderella vibes. I didn't like it. <laughs> but anyways. I yeah. have a question about the house that you guys stayed in. There were some questions in the comments. And it was like, yeah. how does she feel about staying in what you just admitted to be like a more rougher part of LA when on other cycles, the girls stayed in like these fabulous mansions and all the things of the things? I was so upset because it was the first, it was the first, um, what you call it? It was the first season that was in LA. Mm -hmm. So I was like, New York, you know, I wanted to go to New York. And there was actually quite a bit of us that were from, you know, California. So mm -hmm. we were, it was Kenya, uh, Brita, me. I want to say there was one other one. I can't remember. But we're like, oh. <laughs> Hello? What's that? Tyra, if you trying to do a Tyra, <laughs> don't do a lot, girl. Cause I'll go get Miss Camper and I will get you up out of here. And we would never have <laughs> what the was that? Oh. I'm so afraid of lightning. So afraid. Oh no. I'm terrified. <laughs> Yeah, it's been, it was storming here all day. I was doing my hair and I was like, really? The day that I have to be on live, I'm like all frizzy because of the rain. But anyway. No, you look um, beautiful. You like, you look, it's so, it's, you know, it's so cool slash weird slash surreal. Like, of course, I, um, we know, like, we've seen you girls when you girls were younger. So, like, we have this one image of you. And then, like, when I'm doing these chats and we see a, like, a new version, it's like, oh, my God, like. You're still so beautiful. Oh, so yeah, but you look amazing. You look amazing. Well, I, I traded in the very uh the black eyeliner. That was mm -hmm. my look that mm -hmm. I would always get told by the judges. They were like, take your mascara. Off. Well, no, that will never go away. And I like it. Tarantula lashes to the day I die. <laughs> so listen, I wasn't gonna ask you this, but I feel like being you know, slightly shady. How does it feel? <laughs> that arguably the most loved and lauded contestant from Top Model is Allison, and she's love for her eyes. I know. Well, I love her. I, said that. I, I love her for her mm -hmm. eyes as well. But I was like, oh, maybe I should have been a little bit. I, I, I was like, I, I'm weird and creepy too, but I just held it in because <laughs> I didn't want to scare my family away. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, I love her. She's mm -hmm. gorgeous. Yeah. Yes, I, no, she is. I, I'm pretty sure that I follow her, or at least mm -hmm. I used to. I don't remember, but yeah. She's so mm -hmm. different and so, like, I don't know. I right, like, right. Yeah. I just had to ask. <laughs> I was like, I have big eyes, too. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You walk so she could run. <laughs> right. Exactly. There you go, baby. There you yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> Delightful Sugar wants to know, in Joni's podcast, you said that when you got to the house, Brita stole your bed. Could you please touch on that? Yes. That's so funny. Thank you for asking that because I was going to bring that up too. Another th I feel like a lot of things that happened to me were not aired. And I will say this because I, I'm, I'm not drama. I'm not, you I know, can sense that. like I said, going to act a fool for the camera, like, and be extra. Like I just wasn't, that's just not me in general, mm -hmm. um, TV show or not TV show, modeling competition or mm -hmm. not. Um, so when we got there, I put my bag um, in the Hollywood room. It was the one like where they would smoke and there was like a table mm -hmm. right outside. Um, and then I was running like a chicken with their head cut off <laughs> in the house. Um, and I came back and my stuff was on the floor. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I walked in, I kid you not, and we used to call them Survivor because we ended up we ended up finding out that one of the um, camera guys had just been a camera guy for Survivor. And he would always be, like, jumping through, like, the curtains and, like, sneaking around. So he straight up jumped and ran into the room. And I'm guessing and assuming that he wanted to catch a reaction out of me. And I was like, no. Mm -mm. I was like... If you want that, because that's, in my opinion, that's bad juju. That's not good karma. Like, you can't just, and I love Rita, and I want to say that. I love Rita. We hung out so many times after, like, filming the show. <clears throat> so there's nothing but love. But at the time, I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> I was like, not today. I'm not doing it. So I just grabbed my stuff, and I slept. It was like a, like a chase lounge. Hard as heck. 
And then she ended up getting kicked off first. <laughs> girls were like well now you can come back to the bed and I said no ma'am no no I'm not because I said that's <laughs> bad juju no that bad was karma. Funny. I'm not I'm not <laughs> going back so I didn't I just stayed there on that damn hard wooden it like had the smallest <laughs> little pad I kid you not it, <laughs> yeah and even you like yeah. Go I ahead. think I'm going to give you the best read that I have heard on this thing. Baby, I, let me tell you, baby. So <laughs> she was saying how she got in the house, right? And she put herself on the bed. She went into another room and she came back and a girl by the name of Rita had got, took her stuff, took her stuff off the bed, <laughs> put her stuff on the floor and put her stuff on the bed and claimed it. And so she was like, the camera people rushed over and was trying to get her reaction. She said, I'm not going to do that. Uh -huh. She got her stuff, went and slept on something less than a bed. The girl <laughs> who took her bed was the first one eliminated. But she just said, <laughs> that was a read. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm a punk. I love this. Type of stuff. No. I was just like, and again, I love her. I love her. We, you know, we hung out yes, yes, months love, in LA. Love, love. But, but at the time, I was like, but again, it's like, they wanted to get a reaction, you know? And I'm just like, I'm not the one. No. <laughs> you so, know Rita, looking back on it, because you didn't give them the things of the things, do you believe that played into why they framed you a certain way when watching the show? Because they have to, they have to characterize you in right. some type of way. Right. So, right. like, making decisions like that, do you think that's what led to them portraying you the way they did? I mean, maybe not just that, but I do think it kind of played a role. Uh, like mm -hmm. when I came back and we watched it, my mom, again, being in the industry, she was like, you should have, you should have slapped a lady. You should have you know, <laughs> thrown a table. And I was like, mom, that is hey not me. And yes. And she's like, you would have stayed longer. I bet you would have won. I said, again, not me. That would have been you. <laughs> but definitely uh, not me, but yeah, mm -hmm. I, I do think, yeah, because I've been modeling or have been modeling since I was 12, so I know how to take a damn good picture, you mm -hmm. know, that's not my issue, um, but I do, I think I had to play, I had to pr play a role, you know, mm -hmm. so I was the one that didn't know her potential and didn't know she had big eyes and a big mouth, mm -hmm. and that was another thing that did not get filmed, uh, which was, it was one of the, one of the judging, um, and they were like, you know, it's, you have big eyes and you have a big mouth. And I'm like, I'm fully aware of that. I've been looking at myself for 21 years. Like, Bitch. got it. <laughs> got it. Like it wasn't, that wasn't going to break me, mm -hmm. you know, them calling out my different features. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, that never got aired either. <laughs> but again, that would have showed confidence on my part right right and they wanted to kind of you know show a person that didn't know her potential and you know all that so i'm we're gonna do a thing we call over here cookie no we're gonna do a thing we call <laughs> over here a and tm roll call where okay. i'm gonna say the name of every girl who is on your cycle and you're gonna tell me the first thing that comes to your brain good okay. bad ugly or indifferent are you ready okay, okay. So the first go out was, of course, Brita. You already touched on it. Anything else you want to add to it? Uh, no, she actually, the thing that I always felt bad for her about is that she was actually a very successful model before she mm -hmm. even got on Top Model. So Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she never said her age because she was a little older. But remember, they played on that on the show. You mm -hmm. know, they were... They were, you know, saying that she was, I think she was 29 at the time. I can't remember. Was she? I thought she was like 25. No. Was it? Oh, God. Let's okay, see. I should have I rewatched it just so I could have, you know, it's no, been a fine. while. Yeah. Fine. But, um, so yeah, they kind of played on that, you know, and she had just gained a little bit of weight. So they were, you know, calling her a side of beef and all 25. that stuff. Oh, it was 25. Okay. Um, so I felt like for her, again, they did her really dirty because, you know, at an agency back then, you didn't have to say your age, mm -hmm. you know, as long as you 
had the the measurements or whatnot, it didn't matter. And you looked a certain age, then it didn't matter. You were that certain age, <laughs> you know. So mm-hmm. I felt like for her, it kind of. Um, and I remember talking to her back then. Like it, she felt like it hurt her to be on the show, you know. But Thank she you. she's a she's a mommy and doing great. And I believe she still lives in uh, the LA area. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sarah. Sarah. I have no idea where she is. Like after Top Model, I want to say that she had a Facebook and then deleted it. Like I don't know anything about her now. She's one of the few. It's her and Christina that like I don't really know what they're doing. But at the house, she was she was fun. She was a good time, you mm-hmm. know. Yeah, super sweet. Brandy. <laughs> I love Brandy and she's gone through so much in her life currently. Um but at the house I feel it was that it was that um the makeover that just you know I think if her makeover would have been different maybe mm-hmm. her attitude would have been different mm-hmm. and she wouldn't have been so mad <laughs> the entire thing because she was she was pissed I mean who wants to go and get you know just be bald be, but if she looked nice bald I thought she did too I thought it was mm-hmm. a whole look but she just was not having it she wanted you know she wanted the Tiffany I think like she, you know, support. I don't think her. I don't think she could have carried that well though. At least I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. But I, I just I I feel like it was just, it was screwed from the start with her. Like she was pissed. <laughs> like you know. Good old Brandy. <laughs> I know, and I I did watch, um, you and Michelle's interview. Mm-hmm. And she was talking about the Zodiac fight, and it was Brittany and uh, Brandy, excuse me, Brandy and uh, Tiffany. What were they like, fighting they were, about? God knows. I, I was like, after I watched it, I was like, what the hell were we fighting? Or what were they fighting about? And I cannot remember. You can remember. <laughs> like, They're just cannot... fighting. <laughs> yeah. And we were like, ah. it was like so awkward. Yeah, I can't remember. Next on the list is Noel. Oh, Noel. Very dramatic. Very mm-hmm. like I don't even know how to word it. Like everything was a very big deal and very like over the top. Um okay. I, actually, I actually worked with her in Sacramento a few times. Um again, love her. I like our whole house, there's not one person that I honestly could say anything about about. Mm-hmm. And I remember one of the producers when I got kicked out was like, you guys are the first house that you genuinely, all of you got along. Like there was wow. like, just like sibling rivalry, right? Like uh-huh. you're stuck in a house, no TV, no phone, no booze, you know? No men. No. Don't forget no the men. No men. Yes. I mean, some like them, some don't. But anyways, <laughs> you know. <laughs> no pleasure. No fun. Um you know, there's obviously in, in high tension, you know, we would be up for more than half a day. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they would wake us up at four o'clock in the morning to go to a shoot. And then we just sit around, you know, so it was a lot of hurry up and wait. So, um, I lost my train of thought. No, you're fine. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, I, I like there's, for me, there's like no one I would say anything bad about. Mm hmm. Oh, <laughs> um, what about Rebecca? Oh, I love her. I love her. And that faint was terrifying. Like that The was, people said her we her weed saved her. I, I honestly believe so. I because she had so much of it. Mm-hmm. And she was I mean, she still is skinny. She's also a mama too. Mm-hmm. Um and um it she just felt like a Limber, like a timber, like ah! that's what everyone says. She just, oh, it was just straight, but it had happened to her before, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, it was so scary. It, and I just remember, <laughs> I just remember, I think it was, um, no lay was like, call the police, like in the background. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what do you say? <laughs> Call the police. Like, you guys hear it. Someone yelled it. But it was just, I was like, oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. And it was, was oh, funny. yeah. But it, it, it had happened before to her. You know, and she had she had pills and stuff that she would take. I don't know if it was, I don't remember asking her, but I just figured it was to do with all that. Or someone, and I was reading all the comments, and they're like, you know, was it as wild as it seemed on TV? And then I started thinking, I was like, holy crap, it was kind of wild. Like there was a lot of things that happened. Like a lot of things that happened. A lot of things, and I think when you're living through it, you don't. It's not registering, you know, all the madness that is, but... I just want to let you know, you just started some crap. Uh-oh. Why? <laughs> because now, when I do these lives, they're going to be commenting in the in the thing you're talking about, call the police, and I'm going to be, <laughs> I'm going to be going into hysterics each and every time. <laughs> that was Sorry. funny, because I just imagined him with the dog and his purse and with his suit and, and just, like, not budging at all. Like, just, someone! Someone! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, my Tiffany. Favorite. What are your thoughts Tiffany. on Tiffany? She was fun. The icon. Yes, she was fun. <laughs> and she was sarcastic as all heck. Mm -hmm. And she loved her baby. Um, and we would have the best, like, again, they don't show this, but like at mm -hmm. nights, we would all hang out in her room. Or like when we had all be, um, when they were doing the deliberating, we would all uh -huh. be in a room together. So she, we would all be hanging out and talking <laughs> and laughing and gossiping and talking about God knows what, you know? And I'm sorry, Yumi. Like, yeah. I'm going to turn these comments off, y'all. Stop. Okay, why? Because now, now they're putting police cars down in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, no more comments. Please stop. We got to get through this, please. I don't want to oh, be cackling God. and hackling. Stop it. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Oh, my gosh. Oh, now <laughs> I look. I suck at this, so I was like, now I'm it's just it's just like my, my peripheral can just catch call the police call the police stop <laughs> it stop it oh my goodness no that was oh. iconic that was funny we're gonna laugh about that until the end of time that was funny thank you for that okay uh, Tiffany yes so uh, yeah she was just a lot of fun mm -hmm. yeah and I wish they showed more about her mm -hmm. like that like you know not her being angry or not giving a crap mm -hmm. because now as a mom, I can, what are they still going? They're talking now, about La Policia. Oh, now they're doing it a different language. I'm gonna cut this off. <laughs> Stop. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm not looking. I'm like, I'm gonna look up at this leaf oh, above you so my eyes my, can catch the comments. My, my face hurts. <laughs> uh, I'm getting good like cheek workouts or something. Oh, it hurts. Um, so yeah, I wish they would have show like, oh, that's what I was saying. As a mom, I could understand where she was like over it. Like if you're going to kick me out, kick or kick me off, kick me off. Kick like me I, got, off. I got, I got a family to go to. I have a son mm -hmm. to go to. Like I get it now, mm -hmm. you know, I get why she was like, speed it up, send me home, go, you know? So I, <clears throat> I sympathize with her because, well, there's some good memes out of it now. I mean, that's... Uh, it's going to live forever. Forever. Everyone's forever. always going to remember Tip. Isn't it? Isn't it? Out of, <laughs> out of the, once it's all said and done, the one thing you will remember from Top Model, if you've never even watched it, is that right. Tyra screamed at a girl named Tiffany. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the poor girl had a beer poured on her weave as well. Yes. The year before. Dang it, Tyra. When it's all said and done, when the Martians come down here 2,000 years from now and they open it up, it's going to say, <laughs> Tiffany yelled at, I mean, uh, uh, Tyra yelled at <laughs> Tiffany. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, that was, that was too much. But I think, and this is another thing that I think, or maybe you guys know, because you guys are like hardcore fans as well, but so Tyra started her talk show mm -hmm. at the same time that our show was filming mm -hmm. so she was like probably all crazy on edge all over the place um you know probably completely overworked because they would mm -hmm. stay i mean the the like the judging room would last sometimes till three o'clock in the morning 
And then she had to go fill. Like, I can't, that's like too much for yeah. anybody, you know? I mean, because you can't be yelling at people like that. <laughs> that's like, yeah, she probably was on edge. Yeah, no, for sure. But yeah, no. What about Tatiana? Sweetheart, super young. I want to say her and um, Michelle were the youngest ones, mm -hmm. right? On the show? On, I believe on, so. Yeah. 18. Yeah. Yep. Super, super sweet. Her and my sister actually became really good friends at the upfronts when we mm -hmm. went to uh, New York because we did mm -hmm. not have, so usually they have like a big party. Mm -hmm. Again, our cycle got gypped. We did not have a big party. We just went to the upfronts, mm -hmm. um, which was fun and an awesome experience. But yeah, a lot of fun. Her brother was there. Um, super sweet. Like, and she's a mommy too. I, she has two kids too. There's a lot of mm. two, 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 um, yeah, super sweet, young, love her. Okay. Yeah. Michelle. Sweetheart. I, and I, this is probably one of the things that I feel the most like anxious about my cycle is like how they showed me freaking out about man. Yeah. <laughs> And I still get like that. That did not leave with age. I still get like freaked out about certain mm -hmm. things. Now it's like heights or something like that. Uh -huh. but, uh, <laughs> um, so again, they didn't show. Um, nobody wanted, the girls didn't want to do her makeup. And I, like, you can't, again, I was a horrible kid. I fought a lot. But I still, like, if you saw someone alone, you couldn't just leave them alone. You know alone. what I mean? The, like, that's a crappy feeling. So I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do her makeup. I can't leave her alone all by herself. No one wants to touch her. So I did her makeup. So. <laughs> uh, UV. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, like, using my fingers and, like, you know, the little, um, Oh my gosh. They were like the little foam sponge things. And then Noelle's mom called. <laughs> and then the whole damn thing started. Damn. Yeah. So then I started to freak out. I was like, oh, and I did her makeup. And but I feel bad because that was horrible. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I just wanted to not make her feel left out. And then of course that's what they showed me acting like weirdo but um so yeah but I love her too yeah we follow each other on Instagram and she has a beautiful blended family as well mm -hmm. yeah so <laughs> what about Miss Christina so she we she's probably her and Sarah are the least mm -hmm. um they're the people that I, I couldn't connect with. Like, they were mm -hmm. both very, like, she was very um, shut off. Like, we worked together a few times with Brittany and Christina um, in San Francisco. I want to say they knew each other before the show. Oh. Yeah. I want to say. Now I can't mm -hmm. remember. I'm, I'm second guessing myself. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we worked in San Francisco. We did a couple, like, events together. Mm -hmm. uh, but I just can never get a read on her. She was just very, yeah. Well, kind of like how she was on the show, like very kind of, I can't even think of the word, just kind of like, like I I'm very, yes, there you go. Like I'm okay. very, like, you know what you're going to get with me. Like, I'm just like, hi, this is who I am. But with her, it's like, yeah, there was nothing. Like I couldn't vibe on her at all. Yeah, very much like that. Exactly. <laughs> Brittany! Brittany! Oh, she's my she's my doll face. I uh -huh. love her so much. She actually she's actually read my um my oldest son to bed one time. Like we would hang out a lot. I know before she was even a mommy. I wish Aww. I had pictures. I know. I love her so much. She is a ball of fun. And she is well, they, they kind of wanted to portray her like a party girl. And I mean, she likes to have fun, but not like be a lush. But they kind of, again, I feel like they play, everybody has to play a role. 
and that was the role that they gave her actually and what they gave lisa mm-hmm. the next season you know what i mean so it's just um yeah so not that and the whole dancing on the table thing that was just like she was just being silly and fun but that is truly who she is like she yes. is yeah that is her mm-hmm. i love her I love her. Yeah, I, I enjoy, but you know what? I can still tell she's that girl, but it felt so, like, cool to see her, like, you know, be, like, sophisticated. Yeah. Like, she yeah. was very, like... Yeah, be, be in love. She's in love. And I get Botox. And I yeah. was like, her being fabulous. <laughs> I know, I love her. Being a mom looks so good on her. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. she looks amazing. Which Kenya! I need Botox. Oh, another one. I have, like, my favorites... Like my my girls that we've stayed in mm-hmm. close contact, and uh, Kenya is definitely one of them. Okay. Like, yeah, love her. Uh, we we did. Um, what did we do? Uh, SU, I believe it was the SU. Uh, SU. Oh my gosh. And with Brittany as well, um, Lisa as well. So there's mm-hmm. been you know throughout the years, there's, there's been a couple of projects we've all kind of had a little reunion. Gotcha. You know, and that's so yeah. And and another thing, again, I think to kind of explain about our season is we're always like, hey, how about this job? Or hey, how about this job? I don't fit for it, but how about you? You know, so it's Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like we've all, you know, it's it's the ones that have done it is like Kenya, um, Naima, Brittany, um, we're the ones that kind of have worked together in the past. Mm -hmm. Um, Noelle, that was like, you know, a little um, closer to like when we aired, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we kind of all try to collaborate when we can. Kaylin. Oh, again, I, I, I feel like this is redundant, but I cannot say anything bad about my girls. I feel like Mm -hmm. they're my girls. Um, Kaylin, super fun. Uh, we actually, after um, after Top Model, we all went to New York and stayed with her. Uh, it was me, Rebecca, Kaylin, Naima. Kenya stayed for a little bit. Um, and we tried to go out to agencies out there. And they were wanting nothing to do with us. Like, really? Not, nothing. Like, kick rocks. Nothing. <laughs> Um, they did want to sign Rebecca, but she had the height. She's 5'10". Mm-hmm. But so, like, Kaylin and I, again, this was, like, right after. We're like, maybe we'll just go to, like, Japan and get that, like, knee lengthening surgery thing, you know? Uh-huh. <laughs> not, not serious. But something. But, yeah, they wanted to put us, like, in a, a celebrity category. Like, not a model category. Mm-hmm. You know? So, Yeah. That was a lot of fun. And then Naima. So I knew she was going to win. Really? How? Oh, yeah. Again, I vibe hard. Like I could just, um, I just can sense things. Mm -hmm. And so it was, actually, there were the, there were the pictures that were hanging up uh, when you first walk into the house, the Polaroid, the booth, remember the the booth Mm -hmm. pictures? So I was kind of a little bit behind her and I was like, oh, she's got it. She had the one earring. What the did she mohawk. do? She did like this pose. She was this. like, yeah, like, like that. Yeah. And I was like, she's got it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it's hers. I'm a, I'll do my best, mm-hmm. but it's hers. Like I, I, I just knew it. It, she exudes this confidence that mm-hmm. is very, rare to see Mm -hmm. like she just knew who she was she is who she is and you know she wasn't gonna be worried about anybody else Mm -hmm. so yeah i i i and i i wish i had my journal but i journaled when i was there and i literally i was like the girl with the mohawk and the one earring she's got it like i (laughs) i knew it yeah she said it too though that she knew she was gonna get it oh yeah yeah and i I mean, she manifested the darn thing. She did. 
<laughs> teach your kitties out there the power of manifestation. Yeah, yeah. No, she did. Like, she, it wasn't even a question. Mm -hmm. She was like, and she wasn't going to be bothered with, like, any of the bull crap that was going around okay. either. Yeah. <laughs> well, you just completed a and roll call, you. We still got a bunch of questions to go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, I'm, I'm just going to jump into it. Okay. I'm going to bulldoze these. Karen C17 wants to know, how did it feel staying in a... Oh, I already asked that. Excuse a moi. But she also <laughs> wants to know, looking back on it, what were your feelings on the Got Milk photo shoot and the blackface associated with it, oh. especially as a brown Latin woman? So that one... So I don't know if any of the girls have talked about this, but I didn't want to do it. I was like, this is not cool like uh -huh. at all so there was a, some of there was some of us that were like we should say something like this isn't cool like i almost thought i was like is this like a trick <laughs> are they trying to get us because it just seemed so inappropriate even for back then you know what i mean to do freaking black like hmm? like it, it, it just did not sit well with me but again there was only a few of us that wanted to say something and m the majority of the girls didn't want to say anything. So we were just like, again, after I already didn't want to do the boob picture, I was like, I'm just, I was like, I get, I fell to peer pressure and I just ended up doing it. But yeah, it was, and I think like thinking back, like Noelle is biracial. So she mm -hmm. was like, well, this isn't that bad because I am biracial, but mm -hmm. that wouldn't fly in this day and age. Like, not at all, you know? Not at all. So, no, I knew it was bad back then. But again, it's Tyra, right? And you would think she would maybe know that it wasn't right. <laughs> but Call the police! <laughs> <laughs> you did it that time. You did it Okay. Got a police. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh so Joe down the rabbit hole. Now Joe down the rabbit hole. Everyone, just because his name is Joe down the rabbit hole, y'all go follow Joe down the rabbit hole. It's spelled <laughs> the exact way it sounds. That is a very interesting yet catchy name. Oh my god! But he's asking, how were Tiffany and Rebecca when they got back to the hotel after their elimination? Did they talk about what happened or were you unable to speak to them again? I'm assuming they were paired up since they were eliminated together. Oh, no. They went straight to the hotel with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they spilling all the tea. Yeah. They told us all, everything that happened. Yeah. Now, I have a question. Yeah. From what you can remember about what they told you about what happened versus what you saw from that Tiffany and Tyra moment. Are there any discrepancies or things that were omitted? Oh no, I think I lost you. Oh, oh no, Tyra, we mind you, bitch. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's back, she's back. See, I just had to cut out right fast. That's, that, that's the um, trip tonight. <laughs> so yeah, so like, so, is there anything that they told you that was omitted in the version that we saw on television? Oh, you, you. No, just that. Oh, the way you just like gazed over, it was just, oh, <laughs> that was amazing. Go ahead. No, just that Tiffany was like over the damn thing. Like mm -hmm. she was just like, I'm done. Mm -hmm. And then poor Rebecca was just like caught in the crossfire. Like she was just like, you know, yeah, that, that's all that I can recall. And I remember us talking about like trying to, to sneak out of the hotel to go like we deserve to go celebrate like this is look, crazy let's <laughs> let's go somewhere yeah yeah, yeah. of course Yuvi. i have to ask you about the things of the things and this okay. is um i want to make sure i get their name right oatmeal artists they are asking do you think the fish photo they choose they chose, excuse me, was actually your best photo from that shoot? Tyra dubbed it the worst photo ever. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um 
so <laughs> no I, and I don't think any of my pictures were the best pictures other than the dog picture I do love that one and um so you didn't like your alien one I didn't mind it but they made I it seem it. like it was hideous I liked it. I didn't mind that one. You're right. I didn't mind that one. Um, and side note, the the last one that I got eliminated on, I remember Tatiana was like, hey, you're safe. I saw them looking at your pictures, and there was a gorgeous one of you spread out, like, on the hood. You're good. And then they, they picked one that I looked like I'm squatting, like, Oh no, not when the tea is getting spilled. Tyra, get up out of here right now. <laughs> I was like, no. Seriously. So I at that point I was like, I'm done. Like, I can't. They just are gonna keep pulling out bad pictures of me. I know what I'm capable of, but that's cool. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so you said you said Rebecca, right? Uh Tatiana. Tatiana, excuse me, Tatiana yeah. said that she saw some of your real, your yeah. photos, and that yeah. there were and great like, photos of you. Yeah, she's like. My live shut off. It shut off? It shut off. Your phone died or something? No, my phone didn't die. It just said live ended. Oh, the magical forces are at beta day. <laughs> Baby, go get my camper. Mm-mm, I got to strike it. Baby, go get it. Go get it. We got to set this tone right. I'll hold your glass. Hurry. My live has never cut off. I'm back live. Go get the camphor. Because I'm going to get this shit right today. It just cut off. Go get the camphor. Get the incense box and the lighter. Yes. 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 Thank you. Camphor. Call the police, bitch. Call the police. <laughs> Y'all got Miss Oliver twisted. Oh, no. Hold on, UV. I'm coming, girl. Let me just set it right for us. My life has never cut off since lands before time. Call the police. Yes. Thank you so much, baby. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Y'all give me one second. I got to set it right so we make sure we don't have no more. I see I got to, now I got to come more charged up for the girls. My life, sister. <laughs> Hold on so y'all can see. Mm -mm. My life, suspended. <laughs> Put you right here on full display. All right, y'all. We're going to get Miss UV back in here. Y'all, we got to be bonding up. Y'all got... That has never happened. That was wild. To me before <laughs> in life. I just let out. When it cut off, I let out the most sinister scream I think ever known to man. That is you, wild. You striking up over there? Yes. <laughs> yes. Baby, she's striking up. Yes, strike. Yeah. <laughs> that Where is were wild. We? Where were we? I don't even know. <laughs> I, don't e I don't even know. But I will oh say goodness. I'm connected to my Wi-Fi and the weather here in Atlanta is oh, crazy. So it may, gotcha. it, may, it may have been that. Maybe I that. don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't even know where we were. Oh, we were on. We were talking about the worst shoot in top model, the worst photo in top model history. Oh, yes. Yeah. So I believe, so my makeup artist actually 
apologized to me after the shoot and was like, I'm so sorry that that's how it came out. So I don't know, um, you know, I don't know why he felt called to apologize, but he felt bad. So, I mean, imagine there were, I kid you not, there was like two pounds of sequins and rhinestones on my eyeball. Yes, they're big, but I mean, who could, who has the like, you know, the eye muscle and strength. Thank you. Thank you to do that. So like half of the time I was like that. And then finally I spoke up because, you know, here I am on my favorite TV show, just trying to do what they tell me to do. And I was like, I can't open my eye. Like, I need you guys to please take some of these off. Like I can't open my eyeball, <laughs> you know? Um, and then Pisces, if anybody is, um, you know, knows about astrology, they're not in a net. It's like a fish, but if a fish is in a net, that means they're a dead fish. So I don't know who thought about wrapping my legs up in, you know, in a net. So, um, no, I, yeah, that was just <laughs> crappy makeup and there had to be an, a better one, I would think, but there had I don't to know. be a better one. There had to be, right? And then I did, Tyra did bring me back on her show, and um, I did a before and after shoot. I did see that. Yeah. And there's, like, a few sequins, not my whole face. Mm -hmm. And the shoot took all of, I think, three minutes to do, Mm -hmm. (laughs) like, the actual, you know, shooting Mm -hmm. of it. And then, voila. All of a sudden, there was a beautiful picture. How does that happen? (laughs) <laughs> so <laughs> so I'm curious to know why do you believe they were so gung-ho on making you seem like like you couldn't take good photos or like your bad photos were chosen because before the live ended guys she told us that on that last photo shoot the elements photo shoot at the gas station um Tatiana told her she saw a great photo of her but of course it wasn't selected and then she went home why do you think yeah. that that was um i think i wasn't you know i think i think they cast me maybe not thinking because at first i forget what episode it was but they said that they thought that i was going to win it all Mm -hmm. and um and then all of a sudden i was like this insecure girl that doesn't know how to pose and doesn't know her face and um so i think the script changed that's what I think, you know? Um, so that is what it is. <laughs> yeah, I think that's, I wasn't, I wasn't playing into their role. Mm-hmm. Maybe, yeah. Gotcha. Um. So once you get eliminated, you get sequestered, yes? Yes. Yep. In a hotel. How- <laughs> yeah. How was that? It was fun because you're just hanging out with the same girls minus all the pressure Mm -hmm. in the competition. So it was like a sleepover all the time, you know, and you got room service. And um, I think we ventured out once. I think there were some of the girls that snuck out. I was too much of like, um, didn't want to like break the rules. I didn't sneak out with them. I should have now thinking about it, but <laughs> yeah, they ended up, I think so the hotel to, across the street. Yeah. They ended up going, no, they ended up going to like a party with like Jamie Foxx <laughs> or something. Yeah, I know. I was like, dang it. The time I don't go. <laughs> dang it. Dang it. Yes. <laughs> do, so other, other than that, do you have like a favorite behind the scenes moment from top model? Gosh, there were so many, like, when we were just even waiting in line to go in, like, I th- I can't remember, I think it was Brittany that was saying it, like, girls were having, <laughs> no, like, everybody dealt with uh, stress a little bit different, like, some people would break out on hives, some people would have, like, gastro issues, I would just shake like a chihuahua, um, <laughs> you know, like, everybody- she, Brittany did say the girls were farting. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so much. I know. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. It 
was a lot. I was just the one shaking, like, oh. Um, <laughs> not much has changed. Uh, <laughs> but um, gosh, what else? Uh, going out before we actually got into the house, when I told you, like, they split us up. Oh, and then the pool. I forgot about that. That just popped into my head. Um, so it was before they got the 50. Remember, there was a bunch of girls, and mm -hmm. then they broke it down to 50, and then they broke it down, I think it was to 30, and then to 15 mm -hmm. or 14. Mm -hmm. That pool party with all the girls, like, they were stripping and, like, taking off their – that was wild. But, again, I was just standing back, like, my nieces and nephews are going to be watching. I uh -huh. cannot partake. I well, look at you. <laughs> I look know. at you. But if I listened to my mom, then I maybe would have laughed. And slapped the bitch. Just maybe. <laughs> just maybe. <laughs> that is funny. Your mom said you should have hit somebody. <laughs> I know. I'm like, mom, they would have kicked me out. You can't mm -hmm. just be hitting people like that. But yes. <laughs> so Ariel Corella wants to know, Ariel Corella 14 wants to know, why did UV reject all stars? Were you invited back? So, and Brittany, I don't know if you're watching, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. She had asked, she had called me and asked if I would consider doing an all stars, but I had just had my second son and which is wild because I was actually smaller than that I am now, but it was very much, you know, um, I've been public about this, but an eating disorder that I've dealt with and obviously no longer have uh <laughs> but um i was yeah i was very much in my head about what a model looks like um because back then it was very different you know i think the industry has changed in their um you know their body acceptance mm -hmm. and you know for even just different looks um mm -hmm. you know like i'm gonna forget her name harlow oh or, winnie harlow winnie harlow I should know that my youngest daughter's name is Harlow. Um, but you know, like different looks are more accepted where I feel like when I was at the top of my modeling, there was no one that looked like me. You know, mm. like I'm, I'm Latina, I was born in Mexico. My kids are first generation Americans, but I don't look what people think a Mexican looks like, you know, right. but I'm not, the girl next door either mm -hmm. you know so I think my look was very ambiguous and it just didn't you know fit but that's okay <laughs> gotcha okay yeah. so venting case wants to know at the time when you were on cycle four did you feel a sense of pressure due to being one of the few Latina contestants of Antium at the time yeah that I mean I think who who was a Latina before? It was uh, Giselle, and then Joanna is. Joanna, how is she? Is she is she Spanish? What, She's Mexican. Is she okay? Mm -hmm. I don't think I knew that. Um, but um, yeah, it was a l little bit of pressure, especially you know, again, growing up. Thank you. Uh, growing up, you know, I remember going to an agent and them telling me you know, Mexicans aren't supermodels, or they're not models. They have too big of Ooh. hips. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got told that at 12, that I had too big of hips to ever be a model. Um, at 12. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it was really important to me to, to kind of, you know, and I think I said that in the very first episode, that it was important to me. Um, you know, my dad passing away in the earthquake in Mexico mm. and, um, yeah, just representing <laughs> for the Latinas. So how was your post-top model career in terms of modeling? So um, I, I worked in um, I worked in LA and Sacramento. Um, mm. I signed with expecting models when I got pregnant with both kids. And mm -hmm. um, actually, my face is still on a nursing pillow as we speak. Uh, <laughs> with my oldest son um yeah so then they did a little bit of modeling as well when they were little mm -hmm. um and then I kind of took a break for a bit it was a mm -hmm. little 
I don't know. It was like a little bit overwhelming for me to balance like me going to castings mm -hmm. and then being a mom. Of yeah, I get kids. it. Yeah, I so I just kind of took a break. Um, and I would just do things when I would get booked directly. Um, and then I started That's my it. own my own business. Uh, with my ex, we had stores. And then I started my own business uh, about three years ago, uh, mm -hmm. a jewelry business. So oh yeah. nice yeah. congrats thank you and you're so welcome are these your pieces you're wearing yes they are show oh, us show us okay well i don't know how close i can get but yeah as so close I as you do... want oh real close no so <laughs> i <laughs> so yeah i do um i do bracelets i do cleansing bundles uh necklaces um uh you know anything crystal or cleansing gotcha. yeah i also do um candles as well so yeah okay kind of dabble in all the all the things <laughs> and if someone wanted to order from you how could they yeah so uh shop lunanegra.com or they could dm me and i do special orders so if there's a certain ailment uh that they need you know um anxiety or sleep or um anything they need help with uh i can they can tell me what they need and then we can kind of uh devise a plan for them nice yeah <laughs> this is that is so cool i you yeah. know what when i got on i got you know i got that i was like you know what blah, 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 blah. but it's good <laughs> to see that i was actually right that is so yeah. cool yeah yeah thank you okay <laughs> so of course I bet you want to know what he hasn't asked me about Tyra. Of course, I'm going to save that for for, for last. <laughs> but I want to know before I get to her, what were your thoughts on the other judges? We had Nole Marin. Yes. Which How he, was he? he call the police. And call the police. He has actually been the one that since the show has, like, we follow each other on Facebook. He's mm -hmm. sent me, you know, random messages just to check in and see how I'm doing. And, um... And he even apologized years ago for like how he spoke to me, mm -hmm. you know, on the show. Um, and obviously I forgave him and I know that it's a show. Um, but yeah, um, Janice, I love dearly. And again, I feel like she's gotten a bad rap, um, but she was actually really helpful after the show as well. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, you know, and she still called me SUV. She, do you, do you remember she called me mm -hmm. that on what? Yeah. And I was like, okay, that, but again, my full name is Yuviana and I've been, Yuviana, Yuviana, and I've been called like Louisiana, Liliana. So <laughs> I, if you want to call me SUV, I'm like, fine, go ahead. Right. <laughs> but she was really sweet. Um, Mr. J uh, talked to me after I got kicked out. We were actually at I was in the van at the graveyard um shoot oh yeah and he just wanted to say that you know he thought I did a good job and he thinks I have a future in modeling so that was very surprising because someone oh. I think in one of the 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 questions someone's like did you ever feel like slapping him and I was like uh-huh <laughs> I was did like you? no no mm -hmm. no I mean, not that I remember, maybe I suppressed that memory, but I don't remember that mm -hmm. I ever did. And uh, Miss J, again, one of the only, so it was Miss J and Janice that when the cameras would stop, they would still hang out with us and give us advice and talk to us. And, you know, Miss J told us about, um, you know, their life experiences and Janice would do the same. Tyra mm -hmm. and Mr. J, not so much. Other than the time that he did uh, come into the van after I got kicked off. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, no, it was, so. And then last but not least, Tyra I Lee Banks. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so it was, again, I think I kind of touched on it in the beginning. It was a shock to meet someone that you idolize so much and uh, kind of like a Chris Christina vibe. Like it was just not there. Like, so I forget what episode it was. We did a one-on-one when we would ask a question 
I forget what episode. Maybe I can't you, remember right now. I can't remember either. <laughs> um, and they had to they had to say cut, and she was mid sentence, and then she was just like, D-. and I was sitting there like, huh? what what were you saying? <laughs> like she literally cut herself off mid sentence because they weren't filming anymore. And I remember like my little like heart just like, okay, again, TV show, not in it to like really have that um, connection with people. So that was a little heartbreaking, Um, but she was kinder when I did her show. I'm gonna ask you. Yeah, because I did her show for you know, the redo of the infamous worst picture. Mm -hmm. And then we also did, oh, there was a bunch of girls. I'm not going to remember everybody who did it, but we did a a Beyonce or House of Darion uh, runway show. Okay. Yeah. And we were all waiting in line, like all dressed up and she said hi and gave kisses. And I was like, oh, okay. 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 Yeah, I know. I was like, okay. All right. I have, I, I was like holding hope that she would <laughs> be kind at one point. So yeah. And she even reposted one of my posts like a couple years ago. And I was like, oh! even though I was on her show, I was still shocked. I was mm-hmm. like, yeah. Tara, Tara. You know, I, know. I didn't ask you about Nigel. Oh, Nigel. Um, he didn't <laughs> like me. He didn't, I don't think he liked me. He loved Christina. That was, you know, he always kind of has a favorite on mm-hmm. each season. Mm-hmm. That was, that was his favorite. So I was mm. like, Christina and me look nothing alike. I nothing. Like, next. 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 He he doesn't like me. He never will. So <laughs> I was like, it is what it is. <laughs> Yuvi, we're at the end of all of your questions. You did such a great job. Aww. Before we get into the live Q and A, and guys, I'm going to apologize right now. If you got a badge in the live Q and A, I won't know because this is a new live. So if you want to ask oh. a question, like you know, who you kind of look like too. Does anyone ever say you look like Cher? Cher, no. It's You've exactly- never gotten Cher ever in never. life. Never. No, it's probably because I have my my middle slit going on. You've never gotten Cher ever. Mm mm. You kind of look like her a little bit. Do I? To me, you do at least. I will take that as a compliment. No, it definitely (laughs) is. But listen, guys, um, if you want to ask a question live, of course, you know you have to get a badge. I'll see the little thing next to your name, and then I'll ask this Yubi. Excuse me, it's a drink, guys. Your question (laughs) live on the air. Yubi, I want to know. Yes. What were your experiences like working with the people who produced the show? So... I'm trying to think of the producer. So, um, uh, there was Ken Mock, mm-hmm. Larry, Larry, who has since passed. Okay. Um, oh my Lord in heaven. Who? Wow. Who the heck were the other ones? I'm not mm-hmm. remembering at all. I loved, so, oh, Laura, that was the, the one she would interview us behind the camera and try to like, which I had the hardest time because you have to talk in like first person. Like, mm-hmm. um, oh, I yeah, it's like, hard. I can't, I suck at it. And they're like, do it again. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I cannot do it. Um, but the Wranglers, the Wranglers and the camera crew, like, mm-hmm. you're not supposed to talk to them, you know, like the camera crew, but you become right. friends, not, e- I mean, it's just, there's like a respect, right? And and the Wranglers, mm-hmm. they end up becoming your friends. So that to me, like, is something that I took away with. Like, I'm friends with some of them on uh, my Facebook, and I've seen their kids grow up and them get married, and 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 I mean, they've seen me do the same. So that's been mm-hmm. uh, really cool as well. Um, yeah. So it it was uh, it was a good experience, like. But I'm telling you, that survivor guy that would jump through curtains, like, he was mm-hmm. so extra. Like, I remember I was taking, like, vitamins, but I had them, like, in a bag, and I had pulled mm-hmm. them out. And he was like, what is it? 
<laughs> like it's just vitamins. Like it's not that serious. Right. <laughs> yeah. So I asked the girls, every girl, um, and guy, and guys, there will be more guys I will interview. Just be patient. But I asked everybody, if you were standing before Tyra Banks right now in 2021, what would you say? Why'd you do me dirty, Tyra? <laughs> yeah, no, I would just, I, I wish if there was a way that to change the way they do it, um, to like show us more than one picture. Mm -hmm. Because even when you're shooting with an agency, they don't say, here's your one picture. You sucked at it. They give you, you know, they, well, now it's all digital, but right. they, they would give you a printed sheet. And then you go with your agency and you'd say, okay, let's do this one. Let's edit this. Let's, you know, fix whatever. Um, so it's just kind of not realistic just to get right. one picture. Um, so I would just say maybe do it a different way. <laughs> mm, that's fair. Yeah. That's not yeah. fair. Yeah. Well, let's get into these questions in the live chat. So, Walter don't care wants to know: Did you get to go to Africa? Mm -mm. Oh, that's and sucks. I'm so upset because it's one of the places that my heart desires to go to. Um, mm -hmm. so I was like, "Dang it, I missed it mm -hmm. by you know." Well, I guess two. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, but one episode. But yeah, no, I was so bummed. Um. Rayal, Ray Allen Fredericks wants to know, Yuvi, would you do Top Model again? I would. I would. Uh, maybe I'll take my mom's advice this time mm -hmm. around. No, I'm kidding. I would not. <laughs> I would not. No, but I would definitely not be as, I think, as naive as mm -hmm. I was, you know, um, to think that it was a modeling show and not realize that mm -hmm. it's a TV show. Koki is asking, when Rebecca won the Kmart challenge, she chose to share her prize of Stuart Weitzman. Mm. Shoes with you, Naima, yeah. Noel, Kayla, and Sarah. How jealous were the other girls? Oh, oh, that was so awkward because they made them serve us. Mm -hmm. And again, not... <laughs> like, some of the girls were cool with it. I, again... It was just so uncomfortable for me to be served mm -hmm. that way. Like, I am a cancer through and through. I love to be the mothering type. Even before mm -hmm. I was a mother in, in college, mm -hmm. they used to call me Granny Gomez because I would take care of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, that was hard for me um, mm -hmm. to deal with. And th they were fighting in the back. Like, I, yeah, it was a mess. They were pissed the, en <laughs> the entire oh, time. Yeah, and I was like, I'll just find my own shoes. I think I ended uh -huh. up doing that. I'm like, I'll just go. I'm fine. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. You're being too nice, you be. <laughs> I know. Again, I need to, I should have listened to my mom. <laughs> Quilly wants to know, since she was an ANTM fan, which cycle was your favorite before she went on the show? So I did not watch the third cycle. I want to say... Like, it had just started when we went into the house. Mm -hmm. um, so, number one, obviously, because it was new and exciting and raw and ramen. And who was the other one? The one with the pixie cut. I'm not going to remember. Elise. Name. Elise, yes. Um, yeah. And that was just, it, it was new, right? So, I think the first cycle was my favorite. Cause they love in the Drew. That is funny. <laughs> That's his username. How did it make you feel that Tyra said you were her winner pick when you went on her talk show? Oh, that, <laughs> it was like, again, so I was your winner pick, but all of the pictures were just, you know, most of the pictures, excuse me, were just, no. Again, like, I cannot believe that those were the best pictures. Like, I can't. There's no way. There's, like, no. There's so many messages that I get from, from you know, people and fans are like, they did you dirty. That's not, you know, that couldn't have been your best picture. And I'm like, I think so, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it is what it is. Yeah. Randy Milan wants to know, did Nola ever let you play with Minnie? No. I, I think I pet her once. 
but no, that that was his like baby. It was mm-hmm. always like in his hands. <laughs> So, and guys, I'm only asking one qu- one question per person, just so we can get through them all. Mattress Will is asking, did you like your red hair makeover? How long did you keep the color? Oh, no. Mm-mm. No. You didn't like it? <laughs> no. I didn't like it at all. Like, it just, I felt like I'm already kind of, like, jaundice color mm-hmm. sometimes. So I just felt like it completely, like, just washed me out. It just... I don't know. I felt like it, yeah. I mean, they could have even gone like a dark, dark black or hell, I would have even gone blonde. I, just, mm-hmm. I don't know. It's like the least favorite color of mine. Is red. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And so, side note, I used to tour in high school uh, with Bredkin, uh, my younger sister and I. We would do like shows, like hair shows with them. Mm-hmm. So my hair was red for like, it was my junior year and half my junior year to my senior year. So I was mm-hmm. so over red. And mm-hmm. I was like, of course, my luck, it would be red. It's red <laughs> yeah, again. Said, it's red again. Do you guys have more questions down there? I'm only asking one question per person just so we I can get through everybody. But I don't see you guys. I see you guys getting badges. But I don't see your questions. How was it? I know you said you were a little nervous earlier. How you feel now? I feel good. I like, calm down. I am drinking a beer, so that did help mellow me out too. <laughs> yes. What kind? Um, it's not mine. It's my partner's. I have no idea. I don't even drink beer, but it was the only thing we had at home. Oh. So I was like, "Here it is." Cheers to the girls' weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Laura underscore constantly is asking, "What photo after your elimination would you have liked to do or think you could have slayed?" Ooh, the animal one. Everyone uh, says that. Oh, so and another side note: I, I said earlier that I journaled, um, and I again going along with me not wanting to, you know, be a bad example for my young nieces and nephews. Uh-huh. I didn't want to do a guy shoot, like that was one of my like I didn't want to do that. Uh-huh. I did have a boyfriend who ended up being my husband at the time. Um, uh. So the funny thing, again, when I got home and watched it, mm-hmm. the next, the next uh, photo shoot was the one, the, the pillow one with the guy. So again, I was like, God thing, I uh-huh. wasn't meant to be there, you know, because right. I, I wouldn't have felt comfortable doing that. So BJ Bond is asking, how did you feel about Jasmine from Cycle 8 being, cons- being the, c- being I'm assuming he meant to say being considered the first ANTM Latina winner, even though Joanna is half Mexican. Oh, no, so, okay. <laughs> so she is half. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah. I don't know. That's a tough one. That's a really good question. Um, oh, that's stumping me. I don't know, like off the top of my head. I don't know okay. yeah, how to how to reply to that. I think that might also do well with the fact that Yo Joanna is biracial and that kind of that's like colorism as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know, but that's kind of a heavy question. Good mm-hmm. question. Okay. Whoever uh yeah, let me think on that one and you okay. can reply later later. Yeah. Oh, Keefe eighty nine is asking, how was Christina beside being cold was she nice she always seemed sweet and kind to me especially to Kaylin when her friend died yeah no she was she was nice but I think and again I don't know her story she was just more reserved Mm -hmm. you know like she kind of kept to herself she did she was close like I said to Brittany and Kaylin um but yeah just definitely more reserved and who who knows maybe I was too much for her as a person, gotcha. <laughs> you know, so if someone's more introverted and I'm, you know, this, all that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, all that, you know, maybe it was just too much for her. Gina underscore Gina underscore bean 84. What is the most positive thing she has taken from this experience? And that's the last one. I'm going to end with okay. that one. That was a good one. Okay. Yeah. That's an awesome one. Um, again, to be, whew, um, 
I think it helped me um, reassure myself of what I have always known that I'm capable of. Um, you know, because even when you're standing there and judging and they're telling you all these things about yourself that you already know, and I don't know if they say it to maybe not to hurt you. I don't feel like they do it to be, mm -hmm. I don't know, do they? I really don't know. Um, but it just helped me be reassured in myself. Like, I know who I am. I know what yes. I look like. I know my yes. look. Mm -hmm. um, I don't need, even though she was an idol or is an idol, um, you know, A, B, C, or D to tell me how I feel about myself or what I'm capable of. Um, and I made a lot of really good friendships through it, mm -hmm. you know? And so that to me, and I know that might sound cheesy, but I love my girls. Like I love my cycle. And there's even other girls from different cycles that I've met through like, you know, premiere parties and stuff like that. Like Joni's one. Um, and there's a few others that I can't think of right now. Sorry. Um, but yeah, it's like, long time friendships, you know, and experiences. So beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Well, you know, I want to know from the girl who they dubbed have the worst photo in ANTM history. Oh, I got a surprise guest. Oh. You'll wanna no, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing y'all. I'm just playing. Oh God, um but coming from the girl who has the worst photo ever, did you watch Top Model after your cycle? I couldn't. I like, couldn't watch it. I couldn't. I could I had like PTSD. <laughs> no, like, I believe it. Like I did watch a little bit of what was the very first uh, male, male and female one? Michael 20. 20. Okay. Yeah. I did watch that one. Funny story. Um, oh my gosh. What's his name? He's beautiful. Um, Don Benjamin. Is that? Oh, name? yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So we went to the premiere. So there was a bunch of us. Uh, uh, Brittany was there, uh, Lisa was there, Joni was there, and a bunch of other girls. So we go, and there's all these, like, you know, the new cast. And I forget who introduced us. They're like, hey, come here. And it was like a couple of the new kids, the kids. And then Don Benjamin, I was like, oh, I've seen him. He's gorgeous. And he's like, oh, you guys are the old school ones, huh? And I'm like, ah! Never mind. <laughs> I <was> like, sure. <laughs> but I mean, we are, we are, right? Uh, cycle four to cycle 20. But I was like, oh. but yeah, <laughs> that was That crazy. is so crazy. Well, I what I was going to ask you was if you did watch it, is there another photo that you think is the worst photo in A team history? But. Oh, there it. No, I have because I look at the like BuzzFeed, you know, they'll do the top. Mm -hmm worst pictures um oh i don't remember her name i want to say she was in cycle three or cycle the one after but it was it was a topless one you, you know were talking I'm about um dang it y'all and i talked to her why isn't her name oh. coming to me right now i thought that photo i think that photo is the worst photo i know exactly oh my god her name is not coming to me guys but she had long black hair right yes can you guys yes. help me out help us I, I'm forgetting her name. As I want to say something with like, a K. It was something with a K. Kelly. Kelly. Cycle three. Uh, okay. See, and I, I didn't see that one until after my show, and I was like, wait a second. <laughs> I was yeah, like, Kelly. I'm sorry, Kelly. I'm sorry. <laughs> but because it, you know, mine had to do with so much with makeup, and I was like, mm, that's posing. Your you natural know? beauty, but that there's a whole scandal and theory about that. Yeah, yeah. So <sighs> top model, you gotta love him. Oh my goodness. It's it's a mess. It's a circus. Well, Yuvi, you are done. Yay! Oh, that was so fun. Yay! Thank you you told us it. a lot of fun stuff, girl. <laughs> and I think you will <laughs> The call of police thing will forever be my oh. friend tonight. That is, <laughs> that was so funny to me. Oh my goodness. Oh, you got, you watch it again. It like, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else you want to say before you go? No, I just appreciate like everybody that has been commenting and I will read them all. It's like, I've been trying to do it, but it's uh -huh. like not working, but 
yeah, and thank you for the opportunity. And I love the fans, the people that still stop me, um, you know, and all the messages that I get. I appreciate you guys, and I read them all. And um, I hope you guys know that I love you guys. Thank you so yeah. much for coming thank and you. joining us in our madness. Yay! No, it was a ton of fun. <laughs> and I'm going to check out your website, too, after I'm done. Yes, yes. please do. Make sure you guys check her website out, too, okay? Yeah. And then uh, uh, DM me for special orders. So if there's something that you don't see on there, I still have to update it a little bit more. But, um, yeah, I could make your crystal dreams come true. Yes! <laughs> oh, and with that, guys, Yay. we're going to send Miss UV away with hugs, kisses, all the nice, nicey things of the things as we wave goodbye to her for giving us an amazing live on Taco Horror of America's Next Out Model. Yay! Bye! Have a good night! You too! That was fun! That was fun! Listen, y'all, this video will be uploaded to my YouTube channel. That's Alder Twix, T W I X C. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as share. Share our madness with the people. Class is dismissed, bitches. Y'all don't got no homework. But y'all just make sure y'all stay safe out here. Get you some camphor because it, it, it keeps the spirits at bay. If you need to bind a bitch right fast, burn some camphor. Listen, I love you guys. Be sure to pray and kegel!